Boujou, Kinemagi and Nene Ireland edition cast, and welcome to this edition of Support Coach Television. Today's episode, The Last Training Mission, Part 2. First read. We'll begin with a vocabulary term, idioms. An idiom is a phrase that means something other than the exact meaning of the words. For example, if you hear someone saying, it's raining cats and dogs, the person does not mean that cats and dogs are actually falling from the sky, we hope. Instead, the phrase means it's raining very hard. Read this sentence from the last training mission part two. We're here and everything is as good as gold, Cal. If you do not know what the idiom as good as gold means, read the speech bubbles again and think about what Lena has said to Cal in earlier panels. What does the idiom mean? So let's go ahead and go back there and find as good as gold. Sometimes you have to research things. So we looked here and they were having a whole lot of problems. And then all of a sudden, Cal asks how they're doing and Lena tells them, we're as good as gold. We're just trying to solve the problem like it's a small thing. In this case, as good as gold means things are almost perfect. We're doing great. Now, was that necessarily true in this story? Well, maybe not, but that's what the idiom means. Here are some other idioms you may want to look, take a look at. If you are in, interested in finding out what these mean, you should pause the video, look them up, and then come back to the video. If you just want to know, you may continue. I'll pause five seconds for you to make a choice. All right, so either you've chosen just to let me tell you what they mean, or you've looked them up and came back. So the first one, a piece of cake, page 88. I'll be Cal's ladder. I'll jet out to her and bring her back. It'll be a piece of cake. If you said that a piece of cake means it's easy, that's what that idiom means. Next one, at the end of our rope. because those asteroids are getting closer and we're at the end of our rope. In this case, it means we're almost out of time or we're out of chances. The final one, a close call on page 89. Well, that was a close call. And this is just after we had almost had another calamity. The close call is when something almost goes very wrong, but doesn't. So you may be asking yourself, Mr. I, please tell me, what's our first read skill? And it's going to be drawing inferences. No, this doesn't mean I'm going to grab my pen and doodle or sketch or paint. When I draw inferences, you choose the information you read in a story and what you already know to form an idea about something that the author doesn't state directly. For example, if I was looking at a picture of someone shivering, I might assume it's cold outside. The pictures in a graphic novel can help you draw inferences about what is going on and why. For example, if a character skips down the street, you can draw the inference that she is happy. If a character pounds his fist on a table, though, you can draw the inference that he is angry. And maybe that he needs to take a chill pill. So let's look at this graphic novel panel here. You can see there's panel one and panel two. If this rings a bell, it seems to be the same setting as one of them in our 
read lessons from last week. That's the house we're going to? That's it. Maybe we should visit your uncle's friend another day. Yeah, let's head back. I have a funny feeling about this. How do the pictures help you draw inferences about what the characters are feeling? Well, we hear the words that suggest that they're a little hesitant. But if you notice, the face on this individual seems to be a little tense. The hands are kind of saying, whoa. But this person seems to be pretty OK with going forward. Why might characters want to head back? Well, if it's from last week, maybe they didn't want to end up at the bottom of a hole. But what do I know? But also, does this house not resemble a spooky house as if it was Halloween time? Absolutely. You can almost hear the Manadu boo from here. As you're reading in the full text, you should be doing your orange box questions and answering those on the draw inferences chart on page 267. You may now return to the Google Classroom to read the text or watch that YouTube video. Feel free after completing the Google form or the worksheet to check out the answer video as well. I hope you all have a minute of Gizhigad. Bye-bye,